Hi guys, Jason here with Sin City Living, bringing you today's video. Kind of a corollary to one of the other videos that we uh, we posted on why people never seem to, why so many people never seem to win when they play craps. This one is how to win. How to win, how to pick your strategy, um, how to analyze your strategy, what to look for, um, and, uh, and just really how to figure out what you're doing on the tables. Uh, before I get into it though, uh, I do want to talk about the newest thing that I've managed to add. If you guys check the links down below, I finally found an online casino that, uh, that I can recommend, that I feel good about recommending. Uh, I'm not going to go so far as I'm working with them or anything like that, but uh, um, I did get some of their specials and have some links down below. Uh, they've got everything. They've got craps. They've got roulette. They've got all the table games. They take Bitcoin. They take uh, obviously regular cash. They cover all the United States. That's huge. Uh, they've been around for a long time. The reviews are in general positive. They and they have live dealers and they have a solid sports book. Their sports book has, is very comparable to the Las Vegas odds makers. So pretty cool. And if you're looking for some low low limit uh, online casinos to try strategies and such. Check the links down below. Uh, again, got some sign-up specialists and stuff that I linked to. And uh, yeah, otherwise, let's take a look. So how to win. I'm not going to go over the weaknesses. I already covered that. First thing, learn the game. Learn the game. Understand the game. Now, most of our viewers already know this game pretty darn well. We don't have to teach you guys the odds how the bets work, stuff like that. You guys already know that kind of stuff. Most of our are, are, uh, long-term subscribers. So, uh, but that's a big part of it. A lot of people never don't win because they don't know the game. So learn the game, learn how the odds work. Because the reason that helps is it helps, one, it helps avoid competing bets. I see a lot of people that do competing bets. Some people do it on purpose, uh, um, hedge, hedge strategies and stuff like that. But a lot of people do it by accident. They have competing bets, or they they uh, they just don't understand how the bets work. You know, people that oh, they only bet hot bets or something. You just go play roulette. The odds are better. If you understood the game better, you would know that. Um, I've even seen people that have so many hot bets out that it's actually impossible to win. They start cheering when a number rolls, and then we're like, "Well, if you want to keep everything up, you got to roll me. You got to drop me twenty bucks," because they have so many bets up that they they can't win. They just flat can't win. Um, they have more in action than they could possibly win on any individual roll. Um, and all in bets that come down. You know, you, you can have a ton in action up top because it doesn't come down. But hot bets, they come down every single roll if they didn't win. Um, the biggest thing, though, analyze your win, figure out your win condition, and then analyze your strategy. Analyze your strategy. Ask yourself, what does it take for me to win? Now, what I recommend, figure out your win, win condition. Let's say you, you operate under a $1,000 buy-in. Thousand dollar bankroll. So, what is your win condition? Is it a thousand, or is it two thousand in profit, not in, in you know, back up to a thousand? Okay, figure out your win condition. Let's say tripling up. Let's say you have a thousand dollar bank bankroll, so you want to win two thousand dollars, right? Because if you set it for a thousand dollars, a lot of people that buy it for a thousand, they have two thousand in front of them, they won't walk away. It's just not enough. They want to keep playing. What is the amount that's going to make you walk away for sure? Eh, 2000 that's pretty fair okay set your win condition and now the way I recommend doing this is when you analyze what it takes to hit your win condition analyze what it takes to hit your win condition with one payout one payout the reason for that is chances are 95% of the time or more by the time you catch that roll that's gonna get you to this point you're already down. You're already down a fairly significant amount. So all those minor payouts prior to that are just bringing you up to back up to even, They're bringing you back up to to your starting bankroll, and then you get that final payout that pays you out your win condition, and you're good to go. That is the best way. It's not 100%, not every single time, but that is the best way to analyze your strategy. Okay. If you have a complicated heads this, heads that strategy, you should also analyze your worst case scenario and what it takes to recover from that. I've seen strategies where their individual bets and their strategy, they're going to win between $20 to $30 per roll at the beginning. And once the roll gets to 10 to 20 minutes, they might start winning $50 to $100 bucks per, per roll, which means they've already caught an excellent to great roll once they're hitting 15 to 20 minutes. But if they hit that worst case scenario, they're down like 600 bucks. How, what is it? What is it going to take to recover that six hundred bucks when you're making ten to twenty dollars? You know, at most twenty five, thirty, or fifty to hundred um, on excellent rolls. How many excellent rolls do you have to catch? You know, stuff like that. So analyze your worst case scenario also. But I generally look at how many not, how many times does it take to 
on one number. How many hits on one number does it take for me to hit my strategy? And I usually look on the inside numbers. Four and 10, harder to hit, but they also will take less hits. So I will look at the, the inside numbers because I know with the four and 10, it just takes less hits on that number with my strategy. Don't even bother if you're same bet strategist. If you, all you do is same bet, same bet, same bet, same bet, because it's just not gonna happen. So you wanna look at how many hits to get paid 2,000 bucks. Okay, that's pretty fair. How many hits will it take to get paid $2,000? Now, if you're starting with a $1,000 bankroll, let's say you're starting with, at least say like 110 inside or something, okay? So at least starting with a $30 six, okay? So we're gonna look at, uh, um, let's look at a mid presser, let's look at a power presser. I'm not gonna do a regression strategist because I actually included this in the why people why most people never seem to win. So if you're, if you're curious at that comparison, look at that video and you'll see a comparison with the mid strategist and the regression strategist. Um, and that will, will uh, tell you quite a bit on that. And then we're gonna do a, we'll do it this way. We'll do collect and press, mid press, and power press to see what it takes to get a $2,000 payout, okay? Um, for those of you guys that are interested, we finally have a Discord channel. I finally got it all set up. Down below are the links, just like with everything else. And uh, yeah, check it out, guys. Uh, we, we really want to build a community here, and, that, and, and I think the Discord channel can do a lot for that. Some very basic rules. No politics, no arguing. It should be fun. This is, of course, friendly debate. Friendly debate, friendly disagreement, no problem. No arguing, no insulting, stuff like that. And the biggest rule, for those of you guys that have met up with us at our work or come across us at our work, no mention of where we work. We keep that completely separate. If that ever becomes an issue, I will nuke the channel. We keep where we work and this channel completely separate. So no mention of it on the Discord channel. Uh, if you're interested in being a mod for the channel, uh, email me, we could talk about it. I'm obviously not gonna pick everybody, but I have a few ideas, but I'm definitely gonna need some moderators on there because I do not have the time to be on that channel all that often. Uh, it's more for the community, more for you guys, okay? So let's take a look. So, collective press, mid press, power press. How many hits does it take to reach a, our, our notional $2,000 payout, $2,000 win condition? So, collective press, that means the first hit, they collect. Second hit, they press, third hit, they collect, fourth hit, they press, then they collect, then they are going to press, then they are going to collect, press, then collect, oh, what am I doing, then press, collect, and I'm actually running out of room over here. Press, collect, press, okay, so the next payout will pay them $2,800. Now, Instead of pressing from 1200 to, to 2400 this is the press where they could have done a smaller press and gone up to 1800 instead and collected a little bit more, collected an extra $600. They would have collected $800 instead of $200. Um, either way, same number of hits to get up to where you're going to make over $2,000. So same number of hits regardless. So the next hit, they will make their, their win condition. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hits on a 6 or an 8 on a collect and press in order to hit your win condition. That's quite a few. 
Now, we did a mid press on the prior video, so I'm just going to tell you that it's 10 hits, 10 hits to collect that $2,000. 10 hits. What about the power press? Now, 10 hits is far more reasonable. 15 hits, very difficult. I do see it, but very, very difficult, exceedingly rare. Um, and now, a lot of players that play the somewhat more conservative ones that are going to take 15 to 20 hits, they, you know, they, what they're really counting on, they won't really say, what they're really counting on is they're really counting on basically every roll being exceptional. They're, they're counting on every roll being 10, 10 minutes. And those are the one people you see get so frustrated with the point seven outs and the, the point number, number seven outs, stuff like that. But the thing is, statistically, that seven's going to come within the first six rolls every single time. Now, again, Things break the statistics, that's how you get hot rolls, but majority, a huge majority of the rolls are super short. You have to be primed to take advantage of a 20 to 40 minute roll. You just have to be primed for that. So 10 hits right here. I'm actually not going to analyze the power press on this one because this is supposed to be a video on showing you guys how you want to analyze your own strategies. So if you're a power presser, analyze it yourself. Or if you're curious about the power press, analyze it and see how many hits it takes. We've also done this in other videos for those of you guys that want to scroll through all of our videos. But um, and yes, I'm smiling a little bit as I say this, but um, really this, this video is designed for you guys to learn off of and, and analyze your own strategy. So take a look. Take a look. You see how it's done. Take a look. And then take a look at your strategy, whatever it may be. Do you say bet? Are you an iron cross say better? Are you an iron cross mid presser? Are you an iron cross spread out and then press? Uh, six and eight elevate, then mix with a mid press. How many hits, how many hits on any individual number will it take for you to hit your win condition? What is your win condition? Is it only 300 bucks? And are you starting at $10, $12? Is your win condition 500 bucks and you're starting at 96 across including? You know, what is it? Figure it out, figure out what your win condition is, figure out where you start at and how your strategy works and then take a look. Take a look and see. Hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at the very least, just plain fun. Thank you everybody for watching. We appreciate all of you guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but 
I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I would I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see if uh, see if you can answer answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to. I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area. Please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions. Please email me and uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching, and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.